Hey everybody, welcome to A Bit of Birdsong. My name is Lynn. I live in Durham, North Carolina, and I love to make art journals and junk journals. I'm in my workshop that I call Paper Town. Today I'm going to be doing part two of sort of my informal tutorial on how to make a junk journal. And I do love junk. Okay, here we are with part two of how to make a junk journal. I really do like junky junk journals. And this is a journal that I've started on with a pack that I purchased, a junk journal pack, and it just had a lot of papers, what I call sort of off-cast things um, that would probably just end up being recycled. Pages from a composition book that was pretty much used up, um, envelopes that maybe were stained or just, you know, one of a kind floating around somewhere, book pages, little scraps of wallpaper, and this piece on the outside is corrugated. Uh, it's, to me, it's a little bit nicer than the regular cardboard. I, I honestly think that this page was part of a some sort of frame because there was another sheet of paper the same size and it had the window cut out like a like a photo mat and this looks to me like where it was on some spiral rings so i wonder if it was part of a photo album or something at any rate i closed it scored it first and then folded it i should say not closed it um, and bound the pages inside now, I let it dry overnight, and I left it laying open like this. This morning, I came out here, and it was really wanting to just stand open, which is why you saw this binder clip here. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put another one at the bottom. And we're going to put this to the side while we go through some of the papers here. And this is going to be, you know, what we're going to decorate the junk journal with. I do want to show you how pretty the ribbon turned out. This is what we're going to use to make a closure that'll tie on the outside, especially since this journal wants to stand open. This is the piece of corrugated cardboard that we sort of uh, finished up or prepared as I was finishing up part one, uh, the first video in this. Now this, I think, is going to be absolutely perfect as part of the front. Uh, this was not in the pack. This was a butterfly that was on an old greeting card. It really feels like it's from leather. And I think we're going to probably do a layered cover. I want to include this on the cover. And I'm probably going to put some sort of really pretty image on the front as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, let's go through this and pull out the plain papers and the corrugated cardboard. We will put all of that to the side. All right, I did that sort of off camera, if you will, and what I'm left with is all of the pages that have words and images so that we can start decorating the junk journal. I love this. I did not know this was here. I had only paid attention to this side, and I even mentioned maybe using some of the squares. If only I had turned this over. Uh, I love this. So I'm gonna be using this for sure in the junk journal. We probably will use this to make some sort of decoration or pocket. And I know I'm gonna be cutting out some of the butterflies in here. Uh, this came from, this stack over here was in the pack on top of the, the paper and cover part of these packs that, that I was able to get one of. I'm sorry, my throat gets really dry. I work in a lot of dust and paper fibers and um, it's, it gets very hot as well where I work. And I just, I feel dehydrated a lot of the time. So I do have my coffee, but I've been drinking water this morning also. Uh, where to start? Um, I kind of just, usually it's my style to just pull things out at random. And I'm probably gonna be doing some of that I think I would like to maybe go ahead and think about the cover. She would be cute on the cover. Hmm. I would have to fussy cut and maybe do something to reinforce her. Well, that was pretty quick. I did cut out this really pretty uh, illustration on the front of a, a music book, The Mayron Cole Piano Method. Uh, seems like this was probably a pretty popular 
uh, piano method that's been around for a while. And I kept this little piece of paper. It says Mayron Ellis Cole. I do believe that she's the, I think she drew this. So I want to keep her name with it to definitely remember who this, who this artist is uh, to give credit where credit is due. Uh, what I did was put some binder clips on the page and this piece of paper behind the actual little doll or, or illustration is from the back of a composition book. So that's another reason it's nice to have, you know, just pieces of this and that. You never know what you're going to end up using it for. The binder clip helped to hold the pages together while I fussy cut. Um, I do like her on here and she... Uh, we could kind of make her stand up off of the off of the corrugated cardboard. Maybe um, I don't know. I know things like this have a tendency to get torn up. But I really do like I like all of this. You know, I'm not going to worry too much. We're, we'll just be careful with with the cover. And you know how I am about things. Um, I don't like to be too, too precious with things. Uh, life sure goes by fast. And at some point, I'm not even going to be here to worry about this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what feels like it's going to be a good choice. So I appreciate this illustration and this Mayron Cole, the cover from a music book. Now, before I get sidetracked and think I'm going to glue this in place, I got to think about this ribbon and, you know, making sure that we have it in place underneath. Uh, which end has more? They're all about, it's about the same, I think. I was going to say which end has more color in it. But the whole ribbon, I think, turned out pretty much the same. I do like this here. I'm going to glue it down and put the cover art over the top of the ribbon. And I think I might use a couple of brads to make sure that this ribbon stays in place. Uh, another reason I love this really big awl. So now let's, let's put this to the side and put the ribbon in place. When you're gluing a ribbon down, it's important not to glue it too tight because as the book expands, uh, I usually try to give it just a little bit of, of breathing room. And I want it about in the center, I think. And we can cut. See, it pulls it tighter when you close it. Uh, so we have that. Let's just let that sit there and hopefully dry a little bit while we work on the cover art. This, I probably want to, let's check the placement again. I may let her lean on that butterfly just a little bit. Uh, but to start with, I know that I want the corrugated cardboard right here. I'll put that little mark there to know where my edge is. So let's get plenty of glue on the back of this. Okay. And I do want some color in this. Maybe, what color do I want? I might even put... I'm going to put a tiny bit of black paint here. And... I don't think I want the bright white. I'm going to go with this uh, vintage white. Got a little bit on the ribbon. That's totally okay. And I wonder how much of this I'm gonna be covering up. 
So let's go ahead and put a big blob here too. Okay, while that's sort of drying, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces together. Okay, so we've got this glued together. I wonder if I have, let's pull out some really small binder clips. to make sure that this stays, you know, flat. I don't want the top curling away from the bottom part. Uh, this is definitely gonna help this to be a bit stiffer so that hopefully um, we can put it on the cover and it's not gonna just fall to pieces. I wonder if we could put some sort of wax over it or uh, some sort of finish. That's a possibility. I'm gonna stop for now and I'll be back after this is dry. Oh my goodness, as you can tell, the journal is pretty much finished. And the reason I went ahead and decorated it off camera is that I knew that I would probably spend an hour playing and several video takes and it would take four hours to edit. And I just don't have that time today. I think you've seen enough to see the construction of the journal and how I went about picking some things to decorate the journal. And we were talking about the cover. I did indeed go ahead and glue down the corrugated cardboard. I glued the two layers that were cut out together to sturdy up this beautiful little, little illustration from the music book. I glued down the butterfly and this little, beautiful little child here. Um, what I did was cut some pieces of corrugated cardboard to go behind the butterfly and also the hat. So it has really stiffened this up and it's given it sort of a cushion to lay on. For the charms, I went with rusty washers because I wanted this journal to feel grungy and junky. And I uh, pick these up all the time or buy them if I see them somewhere. Uh, so I have quite a few of these and I thought it was pretty with the cord. Uh, the back, my uh, stamp, Birdsong, is on just some sort of stained paper from the desk and there is a piece of corrugated cardboard under that. You can see there are washers at uh, both points where the ribbon attaches to the edge of the journal covers. I used brads to put those uh, into place and I put a rusty washer under each brad. So, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere. The brad is holding it down. I used this really large awl to punch a hole. Uh, if you don't have that, you can use an X-Acto knife to make a slit. And that's actually pretty easy for a brad to go through. You can really see the little arms of the brad under here. There's a piece of paper tape over this part of the inside front cover. There's part of one of the butterfly wings that I cut out of the, you know, one of the papers that was in the pack. There's more of the paper from the stained paper on my desk to make a pocket. Uh, this, of course, was in the, the junk journal pack. There were some letters that were stickers in my pack. And when I put these packs together at work, I, I may throw in things that are incomplete because, because that's better than throwing them away or, you know, making an assumption that nobody's going to use them. I love just random letters and numbers. So I used every sticker that was left on that sheet and they're scattered throughout this journal. This was a greeting card and it had happy birthday to the best aunt or aunt. Uh, something like that. So I just cut out a shape to go over that and wrote save the butterflies. Uh, after I put all of my decorations in and a lot of staining and a lot of stamping, I went back through from start to finish and added quotations. Uh, so this will be a really fun book just to sit and look at and be inspired. Of course, I'm going to be able to go back as well and add more decoration if I want to. I used my gelatos quite a bit in here. I love these. They go on really smooth. 
and make great color and then you can come back if you want to with a wet paintbrush and spread the color around. Uh, they're just really smooth. I, I love the gel gelatos by Faber-Castell. That's one of my favorite uh, ways to put color on a page. We'll just let that dry by itself. Uh, I did go through and put butterflies throughout and I cut some things out of the little papers that were in the pack. I won't read every quote but there are a lot of good ones in here. You're going to see a lot of butterflies, a lot of stamping. There's that empty pack that had greeting cards in it at one time. I just um, cut a piece and wrapped it around the edge here. That was part of the natural pocket of the, the little envelope holder. So that made a pretty pocket. This, I just used one of the pieces of the photo album paper. I cut that down and then just stuck some fun things inside, like a very faint stamp, a scrap of paper, punched a hole through all of those where there was already a hole in the photo album page. So I did not try to punch through this um, clear acetate or vinyl, whatever it is. I just uh, tied some ribbon through here, and then I slid a illustration of a butterfly underneath and wrote the word specimen, and those are stapled in place. Dance, be free, and rule the world. That is kind of a play on another quote that I came across. More things cut out of the magazine pages and words cut out of the little, you know, brochure pages and such. Butterfly die cuts throughout and just lots of layers. More of those letter stickers. Sometimes pages, like you heard that tear, will stick together where there's glue. I really don't worry too much about that because it just makes things more grungy. I love using stamps that look industrial or like a business stamp. Uh, it's like putting a seal on something. The question isn't who is going to let me, it's who is going to stop me. That's a pretty fun quote. I did use this, which was an illustration that someone did, whether child or adult, I'm not sure, but that was just a piece of paper that floated in with some donations. And we try to save, rescue, and display all original art that we can. Um, I wrote Butterfly Eye because this girl is looking through something and it gives it that insect effect on her eye. Oh, I love this. So, Actually, wait, that's not the page. We'll get to the other half of that transparent paper. So this was the black page. I just did some scribbling with a white gel pen and uh, used some white acrylic paint to put uh, like one of those, uh, I can't find it right now, one of the stamps that looks a bit industrial. Here it is, like I was just talking about. I love that look. It looks um, sort of, uh, it's got sort of a steampunk industrial feel. This doily was not an original page, but if you want to add pages to a junk journal, you can put a little uh, strip or little uh, line of glue right in the seam of two pages and just lay your folded page in there and it's going to stick. Uh, you can always add pages that way. It's not hard at all. More quotations. Um, there's a little pocket there and I probably will definitely add more to this. But time is getting away from me, and I've got to get uh, myself over there on the floor and start sorting out these next paper packs. Fun packs, I should say. Uh, that was on one of the folders that was, that was in the pack. I just cut out the word writing and made the tab a little smaller. The best way out is always through, and that's Robert Frost. There's another nice pocket. I cut these words from one of the music pages. Boughs are green and summers glow. And that was from Old Christmas Tree, but I didn't want all of that. I wanted it to feel more like nature. And that's just a butterfly I cut from some of the purple paper and then used the gelatos to make some little shapes here. Put water on them, and when I folded it over, it left this really pretty uh, mirror image. So we can just keep flipping. I cut this out of a, one of the pages. And there is a pretty pocket that I made out of the envelope. And again, just things glued on there. Just when the caterpillar thought its life was over, it became a butterfly. 
And so this is one thing I love to do. I had two die cuts that were really large. Uh, I glued them in exactly the same spot, one on each side of the page, so it makes tabs. And it also stands out a little bit from the book. So if I decide to make this a book that stands on display, you get the pretty uh, impression of these butterflies sort of flying out. And I may add more. Again, I'm just, I'm out of time, and I think I've put enough in here that you can see just how magical a journal becomes if you keep adding layers of stamping and color and ink, stickers, uh, cut out images. There's another great pocket and stickers are just sort of at random. There was a little art image that was in one of the books. So I cut it out and it looks a bit like a stamp. Postage stamp is what it looks like. And then I put almost like a postmark stamp. If you want to test a man's character, give him power. Abraham Lincoln said that. I like to praise and reward loudly, to blame quietly. That's Catherine the Great. Oh, here's the uh, transparent paper. I stamped one of my butterfly stamps on that, and you can see the flowers underneath. Uh, I don't know if you remember this illustration. It looks really pretty and old-fashioned, but there was another image over her face, so I just glued a butterfly over her face where you can just see the eyebrow, and it hides that part of the um, magazine image that I really didn't want to use. So that's just a lot of layers there together. This page has got this little uh, flip out on the edge. I love that it feels kind of uh, professional or business-like. We've got a stamp here and the date here. I did stamp the date throughout. It's here and it's actually on several pages throughout the book. And let's see, here is another page where I've got two butterflies that are just alike up here at the corner. Don't give up, great things take time. That was just one little portion of one of the magazine pages that I liked well enough to use. Uh, and the rest I will just recycle. More butterflies. And I didn't put the antennae on this one. Sometimes if there's a lot of white space around the antennae, I just cut that out and draw my own. Um, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. And that was Oscar Wilde. So just moving on through. Life and art are not two different things. That's Felix Mendelssohn. And that's a pretty image that was cut out of one of the pages, and I went all around the edge with this gelato. Some of the gelatos have a shimmery effect. Um, I don't always use those, but I like them for something like that. There's that piece of wallpaper. And here is that really neat part of the paper bag that I said we'll probably use it as a pocket, and it did make a great pocket. I sewed this edge on the sewing machine before I glued it in, so that gives it some nice texture. And I love, so the brad on this side, you can tell it was a really long, but I love the size and how it holds this large uh, washer in place. I went over each uh, arm of the brad here with a zigzag stitch, and I love the way that looks. So that's it. Uh, now this journal does kind of want to stand open. That's fine with me. Some of my journals I have sitting out like this so that you can enjoy seeing the edges of the pages. And I think you can see how pretty, you know, these butterfly wings are just sticking out a little bit. So I will definitely add more to this, but for now, I want to get on these next fun packs or paper packs. And I hope to have those listed really soon, maybe even tonight. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.